Hello there. I'm back with my mate Bill and a pen. Which pen? Well, it's a Silver Bell, uh, Silver Series 14, and it is in Turnt Pen Company Resin, which is called Carson 30. And you know what? It's very, very nice. I think it's very, very nice. Do you think it's very, very nice? Well, let's find out. So I picked this one up. Thanks, Bill. At the London Pen Show, uh, October 2023, which was recent when I'm recording this, um, from John at Silver Bell Pens. John is an independent pen maker from Cornwall. Um, I'd actually seen this one on uh, like an advanced shout out of what he might be bringing to the pen show, and I thought, hmm, that's a bit nice. That resin's a bit nice. It's a little bit tasty. I like the look of that. I'm going to keep my eye out for that and see if I can snag it. So basically, first thing I did was make my way over to Silver Bell Table and gobble it up selfishly. But there you go. Sometimes you've got to be like that in life. Shall we look at the pen? Okay, then. Um, so resin pen, as I say. Uh, the silver work is made of Argentinium, and I did. He did provide a little booklet, uh, John, on uh, a little card on Argentinium, and I've kept it. But I just don't know where I've kept it, so you have to look that up yourself, right? Um, nice springy clip, which John did mention was one of the properties he preferred of Argentinium as opposed to sterling silver. A uh, bit more flex in the metal, a bit more give. Uh, you got a silver bell logo up on the top, finial, and a nice rounded off faux blind cap for the bottom finial. And as you can see, this resin is, well, if it's your cup of tea, it's lovely. You've got a kind of bluey, tealy, gold, brown, all sort of brown, all sorts of stuff going on in there. Um, and it really is beautiful when it catches the light. Anyway, screw cap and screws in a one, a one and a half, a one and three quarters, two and a bit there, two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter. Um, to reveal section, which is slightly tapered in and then flared back out, not a million miles away from something like a Mont Blanc section. And then you have a number six size steel Yovo nib, plastic feed, in this case a medium, medium, medium. This is a cartridge converter pen. Converter is included. Hmm. Let's hope we've got enough ink for the writing sample there. Uh, very nice threads on there. And that seals up nicely, no hint of rattle. It's very nice craftsmanship. Yes, what ho? Mm. Sorry, been, it's been a little while since I've done a recording. I think I've gone even loopier. If you look at some measurements of this particular pen, so it's the Silver Series is the name of this model. Um, incidentally, when I emailed John to ask that, after forgetting to ask the name of the model at the, at the pen show. Uh, he said he was looking out for a, a more permanent name. So, you know, me, not being very innovative, has come up with exactly that much. Um, any ideas, pop them in the comments. I'll pass them along. Anyway, Silver 14 series. Length, all approximate, by the way. Length, capped, 142.6 millimetres, uncapped, 130.2. Posted, does post, by the way. Does make it a bit long for me. Um, doesn't back weight or upset the balance. I suppose it does a little bit, to be honest, just because it comes off the back of my hand there, but it's not um, stupidly heavy cap. You can if you like. I don't like. Posted, 166, capped. Weight is one, two, oh my God, what? Cap weight is 25.9 grams. 
uncapped, it's 14.9 grams, and there's 11 grams with the cap itself. So you've got all the, obviously the metal work in there. The barrel, as the name of the series suggests, uh, starts off at 14 millimeters, just tapering down to 13 before you get to this um, ring here. And then off you go. Section 12.8 mil up the top here, just before the threads. And then just taping it ever so slightly to 12.5 millimeters before flaring back out towards the nib. 4A size comparison with some other pens. Yeah. Zoomed in too close there. So silver belt. And then we have a Black Robin pens, Prospero, London Pen Company, Christopher 14. Gravitas Sentry, Opus 88 Colado, Codero, Asphine, uh, P36, I think, 30 or 36. I can't remember all these numbers, right? It's doing my nut in. Uh, Pelican M1000, Wingsung 630, Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, Diplomat Excellence, and a Delta Dolce Vita midsize. So, large-ish, not oversized, I wouldn't say. Not really getting into the oversized, just on the length. It's a nice nice girth on it, um, the 14 mil, um, but without being stupidly oversized. Very comfy pen. Sorry, I'll just drop in a Twisby Eco just for a relatively normal size comparison. Sorry about that, no worries. So, how does this write? I'll smash the camera in, I'll get some paper and I'll tell you. Zoom myself back in there. What I tried to do was keep myself zoomed in for the whole video so that I wouldn't have to mess around like I usually do with this malarkey, but as you saw, I got to the pen comparison and it all went horribly, horribly wrong. So, you know, you're back with me fiddling around and chatting a lot of crap while I'm at it. You're welcome. So, it's no um, dot on the V. I just, you know, dotted it on my way. Free dot, no worries. Uh, medium steel Yovo ink is diamond teal, which I thought went nicely with kind of a the accents there, yeah. You see where I'm going with it, you see my thinking. Yeah. Don't know what I'm talking about. Writes very nicely, as you might expect from um, an independent pen maker. They're going to have a little look at their nibs before they send them out, um, make sure they're writing properly. So it's a nice, smooth Yovo with a good flow. Nice medium line, instantly clocked the line at no pressure at 0.6 millimeters, just for info. And before I forget, this is Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper. You're welcome. Um, Try it a bit quicker. Absolutely no props there. Wetness, not at all bad. Nice flow without gushing all over the place. 
bit on a decent wet side for me. Um, reverse, I mean, see, see over a nib, pop lock on the reverse, right? But I'll do it for you. Sorry, as I'm mumbling, I do apologise. I must stop that. It's very, very bad. No mumbling. Line variation, again, steel Yovo, so it's uh, not made to be flexy or anything. Um, do the tentative measurement at being able to push that up to 0.9 mil. Um, makes it obviously a bit wetter and whatnot. You know, you know the game, don't you? Upshot being, it is a very pleasantly tuned Yovo nib. What else can I say? So, what do I think about the Silver Bell Series 14? Well, I think it's a very pleasant... Is that too far zoomed in? Let me come back out again a little bit. There we go. Uh, I think it's a very, very pleasantly made pen. So, let's talk about the model. I mean, obviously, I'm a big fan of the material. Um, I'll put what it is and stuff down there. In the description Um but the pen itself, uh, I'm very fond of the size of this. I find it sits very nicely in my hand. It's not too heavy or too light for me. It's, it's in a nice nice little zone there. Weight-wise, I think it would suit a lot of people. Uh, it's not, like I mentioned, it's got a nice bit of girth, um, 14 mil in the main body of the barrel there. Um, decent length, and that section's really comfortable. Uh, you've got that little flare in, and it's just just right for me. It's a really comfortable hold. Um, fits very naturally into my hand. Um, it will post if you want it to. It does make it rather long for me, and it posts off the end of my hand. So, look, it's, it's writable width. It's, it's not stupidly overbalanced towards the back end here. It will add a touch of weight, but um, I find that's very natural just sitting there. Um, so you've got the silver work done in, as I mentioned, in Argentinium uh, material rather than sterling silver or steel or anything. So it is nice and flexy. That is John's material of choice uh, for his silver work. And you've got a nice um, kind of, I don't know, tiger pattern engraved in there. I don't know, could be something else, something else. But it's a nice pattern at any rate. Um, so you're getting a hand-turned pen, um, you're getting all this hand-done silver work, Argentinian work, um, and obviously a gorgeous resin, but it's a really well put together pen, what more can I say? Uh, if, you, if you want one of these, um, go and look out for Silver Bell pens. Uh, online I will pop links and stuff in the description down there. And... He is also available on Instagram for questions. I believe he takes custom orders as well, should such a thing interest you. Maybe get in touch. Um, yeah, what more can I say? I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.